All right, everyone. So you want to have all of your props ready for relaxation, but we'll begin seated. So you can settle into a nice, comfortable seat. And what we'll start with today is the alternate nostril breath. We worked on that the last session that we did together a couple of weeks ago. We'll do a little bit of that alternate nostril breathing or Nadi Shodhana. And then we'll move into breath-based meditation. And I'll guide you into the following of the breath instead of the control of the breath. Once we've done seated practice, then we will shift to supine practice for the meditative body scan. You'll get to lay yourself down for that. So to begin, with a comfortable seat, take some care to even out the weight in the hips. I'm in a chair today. I'm usually down on the floor when I'm meditating. Uh, but you can be on a, a block, a cushion, folded blanket, um, meditation bench, whatever will allow you to have even weight distribution in the legs, even weight distribution in the hips. And then from there, take some care to lengthen the spine. So elongate, draw the head back right over the shoulders, tuck the chin slightly, lengthen the back of the neck, let the hands rest on the lap at first. And you might soften or close the eyes. Take a nice big breath in through the nose, let that out with an easy sigh through the mouth. Let's do that again. Nice, refreshing breath in through the nose, long, relaxing breath out through the mouth. Let the breath come in and out naturally. Invite your body to soften and settle into the seat. And take a few moments here just to pause. Take these next few moments to pause. Pause and relax. Pause, relax and open. Letting the breath be open and free. Inviting the mind to be open and present. Inviting the body to be open and relaxed. And as you breathe and relax and feel, just be aware of what's going on in the body and mind right now and set your intention for today's practice. How might mindful breathing, meditation and relaxation support you in feeling more balanced and tranquil? And if you're comfortable with the alternate nostril breath, if you know the Nadi Shodhana pretty well, you can begin. If it's more new to you, you can let the eyes open and I'll guide you through it. So taking your right hand, tucking in the index and middle finger, and we'll close off the right uh, side of the nose with the right thumb and the left nostril with the ring finger. Okay. So start by closing off the right nostril very gently with the right thumb. Inhale up the left side. Switch when the lungs are full and exhale down the right side. Then inhale back up the right side, nice refreshing breath. When the lungs are full, switch, exhale down the left nostril. Continue like that, inhale left, switch, and exhale right. Then inhale right, Switch at the top and exhale left. Inhale left, you can close the eyes if you'd like. Switch at the top when the lungs are full and exhale down the right nostril. Then inhale back up the right side. At the top switch 
and exhale down the left side. Continue like that. Find your own rhythm. You can go as fast or as slow as feels comfortable. Try to keep the face relaxed, the shoulders relaxed, the jaw loose and relaxed. Using this breath to help deactivate the sympathetic nervous system or the fight and flight nervous system and getting back into the governing state of the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest system. And let the breath be fluid and smooth. And if one side feels more open than the other, just do your best without straining. This is known as the channel purifying breath or the channel cleansing breath. Working to open the channels of respiration, helping to soothe the channels of the nervous system, and used to calm and quiet the channels of the mind. Let's do one more round. And the next time you exhale down the left side, you can release the hand back to the lap, but turn the breath to normal. And keeping the eyes soft or the eyes closed, just feel for the effects of the alternate nostril breath. And let the mind's attention drop down into the belly. Dropping the mind's attention down into the belly, down to the navel. Invite the belly to relax and begin to observe without changing the breath, without controlling the breath, start to observe the natural movement and sensation of breath down in the belly. Be aware of all the places in the abdomen that are reached or affected by the natural breath. Noticing areas that move and stretch, open, to compress. Follow the breath at the belly. Whenever you find the mind has drifted off, if the mind has shifted into planning mind or daydreaming mind, simply refocus the mind's attention on the breath at the belly. 
Stay with the breath at the belly. If the mind is very scattered today, you might consider adding a count to the meditation, following the natural breath at the belly. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Counting to 10 and starting again. Do your best to observe and count the breath without controlling the breath.
Allow the mind's attention to float up to the tip of the nose and begin to observe the natural breath there. You can follow the breath at the tip of the nose with or without a count, but do your best to observe, <clears throat> observe and feel the rhythm of the breath, the sensations of the breath at the tip of the nose, perhaps the temperature of the breath. Follow the breath at the tip of the nose. And very gradually start to deepen the breath, <clears throat> releasing the meditation. 
You might keep the eyes soft or closed for a few more moments and just feel the imprint. Notice if anything has shifted in the body or the mind. And then gradually start to flutter the eyes open. And you might take a minute or two to stretch or wiggle a little bit here. So today we are shifting into supine meditation. So those of you who have been with me for a while doing these meditations, we have not done a supine together. So the best thing to do is get comfy. And you can lay yourself down on your back, on your side, or on your belly, whatever feels best for your body. I will show you a couple things if you're going to lie down on your back. And um, those of you who want to stay seated for the body scan, you're welcome to do that too. Okay. So um, the last thing that you'll end up doing, if, if you like, is taking off glasses, uh, taking out hair ties and things like that. And you may cover the eyes uh, with a, a little washcloth or a tissue or an eye pillow if you want that. What I have behind me is um, a yoga mat and a rolled blanket and a cushion. And so many of you who practice yoga are really familiar with this stuff. But if you have low back pain, uh, tenderness or anything like that, you may want to have the blanket roll to support the knees. So you can lay yourself down with the knees resting on the blanket roll. Some people will want more, even more height. And then you can lay yourself down with a little cushion right under the neck, like this. But again, feel free to take any position that would make you comfortable today. So you can do a restorative yoga position, a yin yoga position. You can just flop on the couch, whatever, whatever feels good. But get yourself set and I will lead you through a body scan where I will guide the mind on a journey through the different body parts and uh, take the opportunity to note sensations, note whether the body part feels uh, pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. So this will be a passive body scan. I won't be inviting you to actively loosen or relax anything, but you certainly can do that if the urge strikes. Uh, but today will be more about noting, noting sensation without really trying to change it. If at any time during this, um, body scan meditation, you feel like you need to move. If anything starts to ache or hurt, just move mindfully, you know, just shift position a little bit, make sure that you stay comfortable during the practice. So take these last couple of moments to make final little wiggles and adjustments to your, your supine uh, position. And then I'd invite you all to just take a few deep full body breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, just inviting your body to really sink and settle into the position. And as you breathe and sigh out, just even out the weight in the body, whatever's touching the floor, even out the weight distribution there. So even out the hips, the shoulders, if they're down on the floor, the back of the head, the back of the hands and the the heels, that sort of thing. So you get good circulation of blood while you're resting. And you can put on the eye pillow if you'd like, or let the eyes close, or simply keep the eyes open if that feels better for you and just keep the gaze soft. And let's begin with attention at the feet. So once you're comfortable, bring the mind's attention down to the soles of the feet. Scan and note sensation in the soles of the feet. You might notice whether the feet are 
wearing stockings or socks? Are the feet warm or cool? What are the feet touching? What kind of material? The yoga mat or the rug or the couch? So feeling the soles of the feet. And then let the mind's attention float into the toes. Scanning and feeling the toes. Do your toes touch? Is there space between your toes? Can you sense all the toes? Are there certain toes that stand out in your awareness and other toes that seem to disappear? Is it possible to sense the toenails? Can you sense the webbing between the toes? And scanning the tops of the feet, feeling, noting, scanning the tops of the feet, the temperature, the sensation. And let the mind's awareness flow up into the ankles, scanning the inner ankles, the outer ankles, Can you sense how much space there is between your ankles? Are the ankles touching? Are they far apart? And then let the awareness flow up into the shins and calves. Scanning and feeling, noticing what part of the lower leg is touching the ground or a prop, what part of the leg is free. Can you sense areas of pressure, areas of space? And like a cool breeze flowing up the body, let the awareness flow up into the knees. Feeling the knees, the tops of the knees, inner and outer lines of the knees. Can you sense the back of the knees? And again, noting temperature. Does the top of the knee and the back of the knee feel different in temperature? Let the awareness flow with ease up into the thighs. Scanning the thighs. Feeling for the length and the volume of the thighs. Scan for sensation in the back of the thighs. If you're sitting or lying down on your back, you may be feeling the contact of the thighs against the chair or the floor. Maybe pressure there, maybe warmth, maybe maybe wetness, maybe sweat. And scanning the tops of the thighs. And feeling perhaps the sensations that come with the clothing that you're wearing. So a skirt or pants or shorts. What, what's the sensation of the clothing against the skin on the thighs?
And like a cool breeze, let the awareness flow from the legs up into the hips. And scanning the hips, being aware of the, the buttocks, the flesh of the buttocks, the hip bones. Does one hip feel a little higher than the other? Sometimes the hips are slightly uneven or one hip is bearing more weight than the other. And feeling into the low back, the sacrum and the low back. And being aware of qualities there, does the low back feel pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral in its sensations today? Does the low back feel spacious or compressed? Just scanning, being aware. And then let the awareness flow up into the mid back, in the back of the waist. Noting if, if you're lying down on your back, does that part of the back touch the floor? Is there any space there? What's the temperature and the moisture content? In the back of the mid back and waist. And let the awareness flow up into the upper back, the back of the ribs, the shoulder blades, and the space between the shoulder blades. And just be aware of the temperature and the if there's pressure there or compression, if the body's touching a prop or the floor, maybe you're resting on your belly and the back is free. Whatever position you're in, can you sense the breath? Can you sense the natural breath in the back, in the upper back, in the back of the ribs? Is there any movement in the shoulder blades as you breathe naturally? And then scanning up into the shoulders and the back of the neck. Do the shoulders feel even, even in their, their weight distribution, even in the way that they're resting right now? Is the back of the neck touching something, touching a pillow or the floor or the chair? Is it free? Is there material, clothing or blanket material against the back of the neck? Or is the back of the neck sensing the fresh air, the cool breeze, or space? And scanning and feeling the back of the head, scanning and feeling the back of the head is the head, the back of the head free? Is it resting upon something? Can you sense hair follicles? Can you sense the breeze? Is there some kind of fiber or material touching the back of the head? So scanning and noting. And then invite the awareness to flow up and down the whole back side of the body. Scanning and feeling the whole back side of the body. Trying to take in the whole back side of the body at once. And let the attention flow to the low belly, to the low belly. Scanning and feeling the abdomen and the navel. 
What are the qualities that are present in the belly right now? Maybe you can sense the natural movement of breath in the belly. If you're sitting or lying down on your back, maybe the belly is puffing like a balloon and deflating. Does the belly feel full or empty, warm or cool? So scanning and noting, noting without judgment, noting with compassion, noting without trying to change anything, just being fully in the present moment with the body. What's happening in the belly right now? And let the awareness flow up like a refreshing breeze right into the heart space, the lung space, the front of the ribs, the upper chest. Scanning the upper torso. Can you sense the natural movement of breath here in the lungs? You can stay passive with the breath or give yourself the opportunity to just take a few refreshing deeper breaths here, just feeling movement, feeling stretch, feeling the cool air coming in. Maybe noticing the ribs expanding and contracting. Feeling for the sides of the ribs, the armpits. And let the awareness flow up into the collarbones, the upper chest, the collarbones, and the, the shoulders. Can you sense one side more than the other? And bringing the attention down to the fingertips, all the way down to the fingertips with the awareness. Can you sense the fingertips and the fingernails? Maybe noticing tingling or vibrating in the fingertips. And feeling the fingers. Are the fingers pressed up against one another? Are the fingers spread apart right now? Are the palms up or down? Scanning the fingers and the palms. Feeling the temperature. And feel for the tops of the hands. Is it possible to sense the vibration or the pulsation, the throbbing perhaps, of circulation, movement of blood in the hands, the movement of oxygen, circulation of plasma and lymph, the movement of energy. And let the awareness flow up into the wrists, scanning and feeling the wrists, the space there in the joints. And let the awareness flow up into the forearms. Can you sense the length and the volume of the forearms? And feeling up into the elbows. Sensing the outer elbow the inner elbow. And with ease, let your attention flow upward 
like a cool breeze into the upper arms. The awareness refreshed as it gazes upon a new body part, scanning the upper arms. Are the arms, upper arms touching the torso? Are they spread out wide? Are the arms free and hanging or are they touching something, the chair or the floor? And scanning up again into the shoulders. And into the throat, bringing the awareness to the throat, the front of the neck. Perhaps the neck is uncovered. Maybe you can sense the skin in the front of the neck, the air against the skin. You may feel natural at this point to swallow, Just noting the movement in the neck, noticing perhaps also just the passing of the inhalation and the exhalation. And bringing the attention up to the chin and the jaw. Feeling and noticing the jaw. Are the teeth pressing together or is there space between the teeth? Does the jaw feel pleasant or unpleasant or neutral? And scanning into the, the inner cavity of the mouth the teeth and the gums, the tongue. What's the temperature like in the mouth? What's the moisture content of the mouth right now? Maybe the tongue wants to move around a little bit, just feeling its way around the mouth, the upper palate, the gums. and scanning and feeling the lips. An awareness flowing out into the cheeks, the skin and flesh of the cheeks. Do the cheeks feel warm or cool? Can you sense where the cheeks end and the cheekbones begin? Do they merge? Are they separate? And scanning the nose, the tip of the nose, the nostrils, the bridge of the nose. I'm feeling the air passing in and out through the nose. Does it feel different than when you were meditating on the breath at the tip of the nose earlier? And let the awareness flow out to the eyes, to the eyeballs, the eyelids. Scanning and feeling for the eyelashes. Can you sense the eyelashes and the air against the eyelashes? Scanning and feeling the eyebrows. And awareness flowing out into the ears. Awareness flowing out to the ears. Can you sense your ear lobe? The scanning and feeling for the ear lobes. And then into the nooks and crannies of the ear. 
feeling for the back of the ear and the hollow of the ear. Can you sense the movement of sound, sound of my voice, the sound of the room that you're in right now, moving into the ear canal? Is it possible to sense the space between the ears? And scanning and feeling up into the temples, feeling the temples, maybe feeling for the space between the temples. Can you sense the, the brain there? Are you aware of the, the mass of the brain? The presence of the brain? Or does the space between the temples, is that filled with light, color, patterns, movement? Does it feel thick or spacious? cool or warm. And let the awareness flow up into the forehead, scanning the forehead, the skin on the forehead, the broadness of the forehead. And awareness flowing up to the crown of the head. Feeling the crown of the head. Noticing perhaps the, the feel of the air against the crown of the head. Can you sense the space just above the crown of the head? So momentarily allowing the awareness to flow outside of the surface of the skin, feeling, scanning the space just above the crown of the head. Does the temperature change there? And letting the awareness flow throughout the entire head. Scanning the entire head at once. And invite awareness to flow throughout the entire body. Noting and feeling and scanning and observing the entire body at once. Scanning and feeling the entire body at once.
And very gently begin to deepen the breath. Gently beginning to release the meditative awareness. And as the breath deepens, you might open and close the fingers and toes a little or roll the wrists and ankles. If you're feeling really tired and content, you can stay exactly as you are. Just continue to rest. If you're feeling ready to come up, then as the breath deepens, make those stretches and movements a little bigger, maybe reaching the arms out to the sides or up overhead, perhaps drawing the legs in, giving the legs a little squeeze. And those of you who practice yoga, you might do a little stretch here, maybe a happy baby pose or a knee down twist. And take about a minute to transition, just loosening and stretching and wiggling to feel more relaxed. Eventually rolling off to one side if you're lying down. And gradually pressing up to seated. So don't rush, take your time to do this transition. Take about a minute or so to get yourself back up to seated. And again, you can stay lying down if, if you're content. Those of you coming back upright, you may want to take a little sip of water. Hmm. And once you come back upright, <clears throat> when you come back up to seated, giving yourself an opportunity to compare. So you might take your seat and let the eyes close or soften again and just feel the whole body sitting comparing that sensation of the whole body lying down to feeling the whole body sitting. Just noticing how that changes. Pressure, tingling, temperature, awareness, comfort. What changes when you move back to sit? And take a few moments here to, whether you're lying down or sitting, to reconnect with your intention for today's practice. Moving through mindful breathing, meditation on the breath, and body scan meditation. And you might set a new intention for the rest of the evening. How might you take this enhanced awareness and use it Maybe going for a mindful walk, having a mindful meal, choosing some kind of positive entertainment, getting out into nature, taking a refreshing bath or shower or swim. What would support you the most? And you might also take these next few moments to offer gratitude, bringing into the mind's awareness a few things for which you are grateful today. And let's take a nice big breath in through the nose and out easily through the mouth. Can let the eyes open up if they've closed. So I wanna thank you all so much for, for joining me today. I hope that practice helped enhance awareness and self-observation and the ability to, to note and to be present with sensations, whether they're pleasant or unpleasant, to simply be, to be able to observe, to kind of zoom back zoom back as a witness 
to sensations and, and begin to observe. 